Hey everybody, hope everybody's doing well. I wanted to make this video to talk about the state senator Mark Menendo. And, well, he's no longer, I believe, he just resigned. And it, it apparently, it just seems that he resigned due to the fact of sexual allegations or accusations or whatever that happened a while ago. And, it, 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 you know, it just makes me wonder, regardless of what happens, it just shows you the apparent insanity and the corruption of what's happening in the legislature. Mark Menendo is just another one of these guys, largely funded by special interests. He took money from casino interests, and it's very likely that he is has some connections with the Culinary Workers Union, the Harry Reid Establishment, the mass immigration pumping system. And I actually did speak to him on the phone regarding the light rail project several weeks ago. And he just seemed to be a pretty rough person to talk to. His tone was not so great, I can tell you that. So the, the fact of the matter is, is that this guy, Mark Menendo, I guess that he resigned, it really just exposes his true colors. It really exposes what is wrong with the legislature. You got a lot of these maniacs out there who are perpetuating the establishment, getting huge funding from the casino sector, and a lot of them are just scandalous. I did a video about this light rail plan that's going to go down through Maryland Parkway, a couple of miles east of the Strip. I guess we can really see what the light rail project is about. A man who's so scandalous, now we expect that the light rail plan is going to be built. And then who did he have handshake deals with, believe it or not? Deborah Marsh! They, you see a lot of photos of them together. I will show you the links, believe it or not. And guess what? They are for the light rail plan and for... Southern Nevada Strong and all these other things. And by the way, Deborah Marsh is under investigation. She's going through a lot of scandals. The newly elect mayor of Henderson about firing the police chief because somehow I believe he didn't endorse a organization that was sponsored by Deborah Marsh. This is just complete insanity. I actually have a good feeling about this. This whole system of theirs is falling down like a stack of cards, like dominoes. Can you believe it? This is what we really have to start focusing on, ladies and gentlemen. That, And I just want to say, wow, I'm just so glad this whole insanity is just being cleared out. So let me know what you guys think about all this. Mark Menendo is gone, but who knows his replacement is going to be really become. I think the real problem is we got too many casino, mining, and real estate developers that are shoveling all this money into the campaigns of these individuals. This is just so disgusting. And I'm going to give his telephone number. Hopefully I'll have it on the screen. Why don't you go talk to him? Why don't you tell him why did you have such a rude tone against me? And why are you taking funny money from casino executives? Maybe we should have a structure that represents the people and not just constantly special interest groups. This is just complete insanity when you think about it. And of course, they're probably one of the reasons why our immigration problem is out of control and it's draining our society. All right? But again... I can't be sure about all these accusations I'm making about him is necessarily true, but I feel like you are really part of the establishment. And for you to do stuff like this and you're a state legislator, come on, give me a break. All right? Anyway, let me know what you guys really, really think about this guy. And by the way, this guy, Mark Menendo, actually blocked me on his Facebook personal page. Maybe you should tell him that. I wanted to give you alternative ideas for transit, like personal rapid transit, and you blocked me. Oh, but you can't have 
differences of ideas, can you? This is the problem with our society. This is the problem with our system of government. They're shutting out the opposition. And the other problem is you got the mouthpiece media like the Review Journal and the Sun. And of course, there's other ones like the Nevada Independent, which I'll expose pretty soon, about what is exactly going on. So tell them about this. Get the word out, because I will, and I'm going to make a difference, all right? And by the way, I'm going to be doing a lot more clips about Deborah Marsh, about what's going on, James Murren, Culinary Workers Union. Stay tuned. I will certainly have a lot more to talk about. All right, take it easy, folks. Take care.